I, as uh, Rupa was telling, I am, uh, of course, I am basically from Hanawar in North Kandra district and, uh, of course, uh, born and brought up in such a uh, um, uh, pleasant um, uh, the, uh, environment there uh, with lots of uh, trees around. But, of course, from last 20 years, I am a Bangalorean and probably going to be a Bangalorean for a long time. So uh, that way, if you look at it, that what we can do as urbanites. So uh, uh, in in that context, um, we we joined the uh, uh, this green lifestyle movement started, particularly the terrace gardening, urban foodscape started by Dr. Vishnath uh, in 1995. I joined him in 2005. So from last 20, 22 years, that I am I am part of this movement to uh, to uh, educate uh, to make urbanites more aware i am not i should not be telling that that they are not aware so uh, uh, many uh, uh, many urbanites like me probably more of them are aware but somehow that it is not 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 part of their uh, dairy uh, dairy routine or dairy adoptions so uh, that we will try to understand all these basics and uh, uh, and wherever possible, see uh, from 100 to 95, 95 to 90, if we start adopting 5%, 10%, 50%, so 75%, that itself is a contribution from our end. So today's topic uh, uh, in collaboration with this um, uh, uh, Rupa's um, organization, ECU uh, Healing Hub. So I am very happy to be a uh, part of such discussions and uh, so many of you have joined from different places, different parts of the country as well as I don't know, maybe from other places as well. So my colleagues, Dr. Uh, Ravi Shankar Bhatt is also there and as well as of course, other colleagues are also there and uh, listening to it and probably we can answer some of the questions at the end of the uh, session if there is an opportunity. So uh, uh, I will take the example of Bangalore uh, because I, I am part of this from 20 years, of course. Many, many cities may be the same situation. Uh, at least today topic, generally that the, we, we see that how uh, the green has become red. And our effort is to um, bring it back uh, to that kind of situation may take 100 years. That it is a very slow process that we all have to agree. And uh, yes, but at least... In this green, the water is one part. Green greenery comes uh, along with water. See, of course, they are uh, uh, both very closely related. More greenery, more water, or less greenery, less water. So that is that we have to agree. And so, how how we can be part of making this water blue or water green? So uh, that's why we have, and we need so much of water. We are fighting for water. Many of you know this. And of course, today's paper only it is it is there that we as as uh, the uh, the citizens of Karnataka that we are requesting the state of Maharashtra. They are not different; they are all same. We agree, but at the same time that we are looking for drinking water. So every day that uh, we are getting that kind of information that we are going to be uh, a dry um, uh, a place, dry capital, uh, Bangalore. We are we are. Uh, taking so much of water from the uh, ground or ground water is being taken so much or abused and uh, and the day uh, will come that where we do not have water so somewhere somehow we should think all of us should think that how can we conserve preserve this this place uh, uh, a livable place uh, for the uh, for the generations to come so that is where we all of us have to look at uh, the uh, as as urbanites are edu as educated. So that way, these pictures speak. Uh, let me not explain too much, but these are all well documented facts uh, from uh, from Bangalore, and this is this is of course now being uh, uh, witnessed from tier two, tier three, tier four uh, uh, cities of of the state, of the country, of the of the universe. That is also true. So it is not that in Bangalore it is everywhere. It is it is a true question. How can we be part of this kind of movement and start contributing? Of course, today's topic we will restrict ourselves to uh, the the cleansers part, and on a daily basis that we are adding so much of synthetics to uh, the water, and and we have to blame ourselves. So it is not that that no no sir, if one of us do what we can do, and so many of us are adding. So it, the, the the start has to happen from our house. That is where the issue is. So uh, plenty, plenty of uh, 
these uh, synthetics are being added on a daily basis. And if you get into any supermarket, of course, there's, there's more shops and other things that we will see. But in this, in the supermarkets, probably they are, uh, they, of course, they go by certain logics and they know the mindset of urbanites. And at the entrance itself that you see so many of us, uh, so many of these kind of products which are designed for cleaning, maybe our clothes, maybe household or the personal care products. And all of them are highly dangerous and very risky products, uh, not only to our health at the same time, to the health uh, around us. But we are we are not learning uh, in the process. And so how can we uh, learn and probably slowly start adopting in our daily? And, and, and of course, we always blame the water, uh, the uh, going in our the, the streams, uh, downstreams, and uh, the, the, probably the farmers or the or the vendors who are cleaning this kind of uh, uh, vegetables and other things in this kind of water. So we always blame them, but this water is going from our houses that we are not realizing. So how can we uh, adopt these simple, uh, safe, uh, cleansing uh, methods in our houses? And at the same time, this water goes and probably the farmers who are trying to use this for growing, use this for washing. So some of these pictures that we see on a daily basis and we start blaming, see, we are paying so much. Why they, the farmers are not giving safe vegetables for us, safe fruits for us, say other type of things for us. So what they have to do, the surface water is highly, highly contaminated. I'm not telling that only, only from our household, but... There are, there are documents, there are research, there are papers which say, including from our prestigious institute, Indian Institute of Science. So they have, they have claimed, they have proved that 90% of our surface water is contaminated with the, uh, the, uh, uh, the water going from our, or the domestic water from our houses. So we always blame the industries, we always blame other type of, uh, um, uh, uh, situations, maybe agriculture and other things. Domestic water contamination is the uh, is the maximum culprit which is harming our ecology, our ecology and our environment. So slowly we will try to understand that what this is not only the uh, the uh, maybe synthetics or synthetic soaps or something that what we have used, but uh, we need to realize that. It is one of the reasons, maybe some of these pictures are for more of pesticide um, uh, toxicity, but if you consider synthetics also as one of the sites, we maybe uh, then then we need to look at these are all the one, one, one reason for this. See this picture that we generally use, uh, of course, taken from uh, in, uh, in our farm itself, the uh, uh, seven, eight children here in this group, they are all autistic. So autism, it is not just the uh, the reason, but the 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 balance because of our lifestyle today. The balance is lost, and the sufferers are those parents. And of course, by God's grace, it may not be there in our house, but but the the situation. If you look at these parents and how to um, manage them, uh, bringing them up. So then then it is it is a serious situation that we all have to uh, have to look at and understand and see that how can we contribute further uh, in reducing these kind of problems. So that way, so uh, of course, uh, as, uh, as a villager, probably we adopted more of green lifestyle practices, but at the same time, being an urbanite that we are in this kind of thing. So what is that green lifestyle? In very simple words, so as much, as little uh, waste from our houses as possible. That is one Thing that what we have adopted and we are trying to promote, trying to educate. So zero garbage homes, particularly at I am I am part of the movement of um, Adamya Chetana and uh, uh, these kind of organizations where it's a zero garbage homes that we try to educate. We try to tell them as less dry waste as possible. Wet waste we should not be calling it as waste. It is black gold convert that into home compost and use it for your balcony gardens or uh, maybe terrace gardens, kitchen gardens, wherever possible. It should go back to soil for the recycling process. So then at the same time, 
uh, you should be uh, well educated in terms of uh, maybe uh, the uh, your power consumption and water usage. So there, 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 the idea of green lifestyle comes. So many things, but few of these things that I am just putting it, keeping it simple uh, as much as possible. Automatically, you will be, uh, uh, you will adopt that green lifestyle that uh, that we all have to think of it. But specific to today's uh, topic, as I said earlier, so much of our lakes, our water bodies are being being contaminated with the with the, the with the synthetics that what we use as soaps and detergents so you, you, there is there is plenty for uh, for us to understand and realize uh, that uh, that where what we can do what where where we can uh, adopt new new options simple options natural options so that it is easy for us to uh, easy for us to manage so that way uh, that we we have seen one side is the contamination other side is the these are all the uh, materials that uh, reduce the the portable or the uh, good water sources so you 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 need to look at somewhere where where i can be part of this so uh, particularly i stayed in varturu uh, in white Field area for uh, uh, for two years and some of these pictures are from there and uh, of course other water bodies as well so on a on a daily basis that we witness and of course the 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 coming generations uh, they 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 are the sufferers and we need to look at somewhere so somewhere so see, gray water uh, I, I we we do not sometimes probably we need to look at black water as well but at least gray water safe gray water practices that if we do not adopt one day we ourselves in our lifetime itself that we may have to witness this kind of problem we have started many of us have see particularly now now the situation improved but uh, i stayed in darwad for about 15 years and the problems of water in darwad and other areas from north karnataka that we have seen but at least at least now uh, the situation is very good and uh, you need to look at how can we improve our water bodies and following following sustainable, following green practices in our household. So that's what I was telling you. See, people say or the people have proved, scientists have proved that 90% of the contamination is from household uh, discharges. So that way uh, there is there is lots to learn. So these some of these points that I am trying to bring in that what what we are adding to our um, uh, environment ecology around us, and of course in this process we are we are of course we are not at all empathetic to the life in water bodies. We are killing so much, and at the same time our the health of our uh, cultivated land is also being um, of course reduced on a daily basis. See, uh, we, we always say that probably in Bangalore itself, if you take the example of Bangalore, that we have so many STPs and other things and the water is being released to um, maybe Kolar and other agricultural band and it is being used to um, uh, fill the uh, lakes. But whether that water is good for, for the, for the uh, life there, for the uh, uh, crops there, that we are absolutely not realizing. No, not good. So much of salt, you cannot filter it out. You may filter some of the solids. So what? What about which goes as salt? So so many of our soaps, uh, soaps and detergents, they are all salt based. And some of these points I am trying to bring in in my presentation. And of course, <clears throat> looks very simple. These are visible symptoms. Invisible symptom that we are absolutely not in a not in a position to realize. So many things that I just brought in. So these are just visible symptoms. We say oh, there is some allergy or something like that and we forget it. Of course, we approach a doctor and again another type of synthetic. Too many medicines, synthetic medicines. And of course, probably they are, they are all enjoying. I am not blaming them that they are also helping us to uh, solve this problem. But if we address the problem at the base, the basic problem, then it is much, much easier to um, uh, have a healthy or happy uh, life. 
for that uh, the idea is to adopt all these green lifestyle practices and natural cleansers as one among them so slowly that we can we can move move further so some of these things probably many of us have would not have seen the uh, the ingredients in our soaps and detergents probably all of us have to just just open the uh, maybe our uh, uh, soaps uh, soap powder or something and start seeing that what are all the ingredients there and it is of course it is illegally that they all have to um, mention that what are the ingredients there some they may hide that is a different issue but uh, many of them have to have to put all these things in the uh, uh, in the label and they they have to uh, mention all these things so one one general thing is sls or sles so uh, this is generally mentioned and all of us uh, know that many of these synthetic soaps contain this the what what comes as the foam is is because of this and we always say we see many of these our advertisements and say that it is giving very good lather very good foam and it is a very good cleanser lather foam has nothing to do with cleaning so we are adopting more of killing mechanism not the cleaning mechanisms so that to that we we have to realize somewhere and this this sls and uh, sles both of them many of them may use that as carrier so they are highly highly toxic hazardous even cancerous and of course the 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 they, they are required only for for creating that kind of foaming so that of course no 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 uh, many of our washing machines they are being damaged because of this excessive foam so they started adding uh, the uh, uh, the the synthetics to reduce foam anti foaming agents so otherwise this this washing, washing machines will not work for long time maybe corrosive or some other things because of high salt content they started adding uh, or found something which is anti foaming agents so they have started you, you probably if you go to some of these uh, today's um, washing machine this one and they say no is too much of foam there you uh, you take this and it is an anti foaming agent and you can use this so that foams will be lesser so one side that we ourselves have added more and again we have started because of that we need we need those washing machines so that way see this sls and sles are part of many of our in the weather it is in uh, bath soap whether it is a washing powder whether it is your dishwashing uh, all these things so all the, the that another important culprit probably many of us have witnessed are the phosphates see phosphates are part of many different type of soaps and we are seeing them the results in our water bodies too much of growth see if you if you go to of course now it is little clean but the hebal lake and other lakes where where you see the excessive growth of certain plants because of excess of excess of nutrients in the soil they are they are they are the uh, blocking the water uh, canals outlets and of course water is not going and we would not have seen in bengaluru or in other places but the the uh, in in other uh, countries people have seen even floods because of this blocking of the canals so that way we need to we need to look at that how can we these these uh, uh, the phosphates in soaps are ecologically hazardous dangerous so uh, of course there are some other uh, the insects and others would have survived but majorly these are all ecologically highly highly dangerous and the aquatic life marine life is 100% affected so those things and formaldehyde formaldehyde you know formalin we use them in laboratories to do keep the uh, very uh, aseptic environment in our in our laboratories that just we uh, uh, close all the windows and other thing people use formalin for killing uh, the very dangerous insects like bed bug so you close all the all the sides and uh, you just put it it is highly highly dangerous uh, respiratory toxin so but we we have all these formaldehyde and other things in in our uh, soil and this kind of water is released from our outlets and sometimes that 
in villages and other things the water from bathrooms will go to the uh, feed plants phytotoxic and very risky many of the plants are get uh, getting killed but we do we generally do not realize we think okay it is fine similarly breaches so we say that if you use that kind of washing powder the uh, there will be shining in our clothes and other things so at at what cost so we need to realize somewhere some of these breaches are highly highly dangerous so even even it can cause blindness pulmonary um, problems respiratory issues respiratory organs respiratory failures it is documented facts i am telling may not be happening with all 100% many of us have already uh, having problems but we are not realizing that is because of this kind of material that what we are using on a daily basis so that way even ammonium sulfate people uh, in in certain soaps people have started using so they are the uh, they, they are so dangerous even the even the empty cans if it reaches the water bodies the washed materials which reaches the water bodies very dangerous and and respiratory toxin so this way of course dioxin another one uh, if you just read the uh, uh, some of these of course if you may not be having in your houses but whenever you go to a supermarket or something take all the uh, all different type of uh, washing powders or soaps and other things try to try to see the uh, ingredients or the contents and some of these things that you see they have written and they cannot write the carcinogenic like like on our uh, um maybe uh, tobacco products or something like that and and of course you, you sometimes that you not see or not witness because they are slow poisons and of course humans it may take more quantity or something to have some kind of symptoms one in thousand one in a lakh one in one in a crore but on other life systems which are base on 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 the um, on a lower part of the uh, uh, this one Uh, where um, the the pyramid, we are all dependent on them. So somewhere, though they are highly highly dangerous, high irritants, and and you need to look somewhere that how can we we be uh, avoiding all these things. So that's what and of course you have brightness. They they are just just in uh, what is that um, um, uh, false. um uh, creams or illuminations or something whatever we say so you in re in reality they are, they are, they are not brightness but they they um uh, create that kind of image among us and we think that no no it is it is very good brightness so in many of our what washing powders and other things they claim that we have added brightness there brightness at what cost so as educated we need to look at and of course quads the uh, risky uh, skin uh, irritants nonoxinol or npes what we say i'm i'm not not trying to push too much here because uh, the idea is synthetics versus natural origin materials so many types of synthetics some of these things that we have not have listed here but these things are being being added in different type of uh, Uh, soaps and detergents to give a different type of effect there so we we are looking the for those kind of effect at 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 a at a cost so that way fragrance particular of course many of you of course of course others also may be looking at a very fragrant very nice smell in our uh, in our houses in our bathrooms or something like that at what cost they are highly highly carcinogenic fragrances synthetic fragrances maybe for for some time that it may be a uh, very pleasant or something like that but very risky very risky all these synthetic perfumes or fragrances are highly risky highly carcinogenic the natural ones are available maybe champa maybe roses or maybe uh, different type of uh, uh, flowers and other things jasmine flowers river but costly we look at cheaper materials the natural virgins are probably always uh, highly biodegradable they will not be there for long time the effect may not be there for long time but safe and of course uh, uh, natural origin and uh, uh, costly and of course once we start 
uh, using it, where is a demand, the cost may come down. So it is because there is no much demand and uh, people are not producing it prop, uh, because of that reason, it is costly. But we need to look at somewhere that how can we be part of this kind of movement, different type of dyes, colors. So in, in the washing powder that we see, on there is blue, blue um, uh, uh, particles, green particles. So they have exclusively added. Automatically, it will not be in that kind of uh, colors. Just to make or uh, may, uh, the people get attracted or the uh, maybe a visual effect for that kind of things, of course, benzene acetate, dichlorobenzene, all these one or maybe may not be in all the soaps I am telling, but one or the other soap that what we get, maybe washing powder, the uh, um, bath soap or the washing soaps, washing liquid. So all those things that whatever we get, the trichrosons, recently in many, many soaps that you um, you have have this synthetic product and and it has been documented that many of our houses or the uh, the problems of thyroid problems of uh, maybe uh, loss of immunity it is because of trichrosons that we have in our soaps documented well researched but still still we use them because we don't want to change to the the traditional the natural systems like of course micro beads and micro plastics particularly to give uh, maybe in the face wash micro beads that we are using micro plastic beads are we are using so that it gives a kind of roughness uh, to our hands to our face or something like that and today in drinking water we have 300 particles of microplastic from where it goes from all these part this one that it gets into water of course there are other uh, this one that we are using too much of plastic and other things that are getting into water even carrot radish we have we have microplastic people have documented because the surface water is having so much of microplastic. And one reason that we are using this in our um, uh, daily uh, synthetic soaps as well. So somewhere we need to look at the what can be the option, where we can uh, probably um, add value there. So natural cleaners. So and, and all these synthetic synthetic soaps, they have a history of 100 years. Maybe, of course, they, they have uh, grown in this kind of proportion only after Second World War. So they, they tried using all these synthetics for cleaning and other things, and they got to know the grease can be cleaned, this can be cleaned, and they developed this as a uh, very good industry. Before that, Raja, Maharaja, so many of uh, the very rich, they have all used only natural materials. Maybe oils, the coconut oil, the uh, um, basin powder, so, so many we also use on a on a in our houses, but on, on, a, on a festival day or on, on some other day that we use and forget it. And all these things are our botanical soap nets in Chikakai that probably uh, I, I try to discuss because that we have more authority or more experience of using it uh, as, as an industry. So that way they are they are safe to the soil, the life in soil, life in water, and of course. Uh, maybe for the uh, for improving the soil properties for the plants for the animals so that way if you if you look at there is there is an immediate need for all of us to look at sit uh, think that how can we shift to uh, the, these kind of wellness products this kind of uh, wellness practices the uh, the green lifestyle practices the natural origin materials highly biodegradable which will not be there in nature for a long time, which get degraded because of sunlight and other uh, uh, the natural uh, materials, natural things. So that way, one of them are enzyme-based products. Today, we, uh, we have many of these enzyme-based products in the market, but there are issues. They are mostly make, we, have, we also have the experience. We also did, the, myself and my um, partners, serious studies, sponsored by Department of Biotechnology and other things, microorganism uh, based, the, uh, the, uh, the products from uh, microorganisms, the secondary metabolites from microorganisms. But you have to, you have to produce this again in, in the industry. You need to have a very sophisticated laboratories 
otherwise the, the you cannot grow microorganisms in that kind of large scale fermentation systems lacks together investments and of course big big uh, laboratories and buildings and other things i am not telling that it is not possible probably one day we may have to uh, look at it but this kind of microbial princess biosurfactants are are difficult to produce today some of these things are there but uh, still still it is it is a small sector because of the uh, investment requirements otherwise over a period of time people may come it is very very small scale it is available in the market the other one that we try to promote are bioenzymes which can be produced in our household particularly citrus pineapple where there is little bit of the uh, the soreness little bit of uh, maybe uh, ascorbic acid content see all these things wherever uh, wherever possible that we we also as uh, uh, and um, uh, promoters of green lifestyle we try to promote educate people that it is possible that you can produce all these things very simple what you need is maybe um, maybe uh, some quantities of uh, these peels anyway after eating the fruit fruit may not be um, useful here or the, not the purpose peels can be used and the jaggery and and understanding the process this is a fermentation process same thing the the organism that what i said biosurfactants here it is a little bit simple method but the issue is that you have to be careful sometime there will be the smell may not be that good we are all used to a kind of smell kind of odor so we may not like it so that time that people are uh, the uh, uh, adopting this kind of and and the work so we are all running on a on a uh, uh, probably for our livelihood or the uh, uh, urban uh, uh, requirements we don't have much time so we we uh, are not in a position to produce do all these things store it and we are more used to uh, maybe uh, purchase from the uh, market supermarket ready to use products and this this bio bio enzymes and other things cannot be produced by others and probably sold it to you and then it, it it is not commercially viable people won't do it these are all sustainable sustainable living options that you should be part of this moment you should be in a position to do it learn and do it that is very difficult in today's of course uh, and a possibility that we can we can always look at but more practical what we have seen in this this uh, last 20 years of uh, promotion of sustainability sustainable living green lifestyle Uh, urban terrace gardening urban foodscapes and uh, people whenever we interacted with others the much easier is the botanical princess and they have thousands of years of history and every household particularly in the in the malnad region in the coastal belt wherever that it can be grown every household has one or two trees of uh, soap nut and of course this side if you come maybe on the drier bed the uh, the shikakai is a thorny bushy uh, plant soap nut on the other hand it is a tree soap nut honey it is not just the soap nut the soap nut honey is highly highly valuable honey medicinal honey people buy at premium cost so that way it is on the other hand the trees and trees advantages of trees that i need not explain mm -hmm. there is so much of advantages so the what we are using is the final product we are not cutting it we are not chopping it so these are designed for 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 human uh, consumption or human uh, probably to clean his body clean his clothes or whatever material so in in nature itself that they are designed so this these two products that we thought that we probably more practical problem is still there so we as of now that probably we are we are uh, uh, dealing with maybe uh, 0.1% of of the uh, of the population if it becomes 1% probably i can manage if it becomes 5% probably if it becomes 50% i have to work with the back end people have to grow in large scale that we have of course we have started up the forest departments that we have started working with them the other um, maybe village forest committees the uh, the uh, the villages if if you give them the uh, the the price the farmers are ready to grow there are there are orchards of soap nut there are orchards of shikakai in northern maybe bihar nepal and the other places 
there are exclusive orchards people have worked on varieties of uh, soap nuts the improved varieties like maybe rice variety or the wheat variety or the maize or cotton like that the people have worked on soap nut varieties so that way the 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 awareness is coming and at the same time at the back end also people have uh, started working on that so that you you need to look at so as 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 an organization we started this biological research innovation center and solutions in 2015 with lots and lots of prior experience of working with urban gardening so we we try to uh, uh, probably take in a challenge and uh, get into uh, this kind of products we were knowing that it is not going to be easy but still so uh, with this maybe vision of rethink re reuse and rebuild with that vision that we uh, started this work and of course uh, i i should not be saying we are 100% successful but fairly successful even even with the the covid ages and other thing that with the support of many green enthusiasts that the uh, that we are still there and of course the products are very good products comparable with any of the synthetics we generally say that uh, these natural products should not be compared with synthetics the problems i just already explained but still people compare then then still yes the safer and innovative products that we have developed and they they are ready to use products today so non toxic highly biodegradable like any other uh, even bioenzymes and but of course the uh, the microbial based products are also they are they are also highly highly biodegradable sustainable sustainable maybe some these these kind of things that highly sustainable mild on skin on we always say this is this is not very strong uh, or uh, maybe um, uh, that kind of uh, uh, cleanser which which cleans so effectively or something like that which is mild simple and eco friendly the production is eco friendly the produce is natural we are not throwing anything out see in the, in the industry that where we are we bring them from the, of course we have uh, we are working with the uh, the uh, tribals the tribal societies where this is a forest produce particularly in karnataka and other some of this it's a forest produce you you have to have license to collect this so with those kind of societies that we are working one side that livelihood of for them the other side whenever we bring it we wash it clean it and of course the material when we soak it that water is not being thrown it is being used so it is not a polluting industry so value addition to the natural source so much of uh, benefits to natural and the end of course this chemistry and other things it is always that it cleans it cleans so that way so this this that we we have selected this as part of our and we developed some of this product called eco swatch and eco satwa eco swatch is the more of household products eco satwa is the personal care products some of this quickly <coughs> should not be considered as a marketing uh, um, a seminar but the concept the purpose first profit next all these all these products are purpose based but at the same time it is it it will not work in as a as a commercial venture that it is just a just in purpose there just a purpose and probably bioenzymes would have work it is, it will not work so it is it is not a bioenzyme but i should say that that it will have some of these enzymes and other things which are taken from the uh, soap nut and shaker kai but not like bioenzymes produce factories following all religiously uh evolved um sops standard operation protocols not to have any kind of contamination in the in the in the extract making it probably the shelf life of maybe at least one and half years so we we have developed this kind of products now the alternatives all all those things that to start with that we worked uh, started with the fabric wash for the washing machine machine friendly not necessarily machine friendly one the one the hand wash or the bucket wash so you can use it for all the purposes but at least many of our household today has the washing machines the product developed today are the machine wash natural origin materials only liquids 
so you cannot ask us that so you like us like the powder that whether we have some powders or the solid no not possible so when it comes to solid then you have to use one or the other type of synthetics so all those natural origin ingredients soapnut and shikakai are the cleansers but the carriers are also maybe coconut oil based so all these things that we have we have designed all those things and uh, the fabric wash which is the uh, alternatives to many of your hazardous synthetic soap soap powders in 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 the washing of clothes at the same time alternative to wim i may not be i may be uh, using this word not to uh, uh, of course against those kind of products but the the synthetic dishwash and we use so much the where where we always say a drop of this uh, is sufficient to clean your maybe uh, oily um, uh, uh, utensils and other things or the cooking materials so we always look at all those kind of advertisements but not required see the cleaning this kind of this is the efficiency of the scrubber this is more than sufficient these are not mild so if required maybe in, instead of diluting that you can you can use directly because it is not dangerous to your water bodies by the time it reaches to the main water body that it is all degraded very safe nothing will be there no salt if salt is there also it is a natural origin salt that we also not analyze that what it contains except saponins so those things that we have is alternatives to dishwash see we we are using from last 7 years last 8 years and we are all comfortable using all these also we were also having reservations all these experiments done in our houses for the first time so only after confirmation that we have started using sometimes you need little more quantities costly yes agreed but the 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 uh, the cost on environment is much more if you are using the synthetics similar to your your surface cleaners so that kind of things available that we have developed little very milder little bit of maybe a uh, different type of uh, the smells of natural origin maybe um, the champa or the sampige or jasmine so this kind of roses sometimes so depending upon the situation that we have we have used certain natural odor but otherwise it is more of rinses adding to water and cleaning your surfaces so this kind of eco switch surface cleaner toilet cleaner see the technology the best technology is probably to use uh, not to use anything people developed that kind of toilets where uh, the uh, the the even the human waste can be converted into compost and added to uh, the soil but started using the synthetic toilet cleaners the whole purpose is gone the idea is to use all these uh, natural origin materials to uh, develop this into a good quality compost and use it put it in the soil and if you start using the synthetic toilet cleaners the purpose is gone there this kind of natural toilet cleaners they are efficient there is no doubt in that the only thing is the mindset and of course the the small uh, this one is maybe 10% 15% costlier i agree natural origin materials natural chemistry itself is costly today it is not because these are organic products they are costly not like that not possible but there are cheaper options that we ourselves have started this kind of maybe pyrite scans cheaper works out cheaper we encourage the users even if they want the pyrite scan that we give them the uh, the 50 rupees discount next time so that they 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 can recycle reuse bring the cans back and many of our customers are doing this and all these things are possible when we look at these are the wellness products these are the green lifestyle products and somewhere and they they have long term effect <laughs> similarly hand wash particularly during covid times every day seven eight times that we used uh, the uh, the synthetic hand wash and now now we have documents that even the beneficial microbes which should have entered the guts they all removed maybe because of many reasons that is not get into but these are simple hand washes the uh, the natural hand washes at least your hands are clean the water bodies are saved so those things that 
that you you have to look at and very very good and uh, very safe to your hand uh present this kind of ecosatwa hand wash there are there are of course videos people have bloggers have worked on this and uh, they are available on uh, uh, youtube and other places the uh, the uh, the body wash shampoo shampoo is very simple the people have used it for ages the soap net and shikakai the people have used it for ages for washing their hairs but so uh, not that uh, what is that leather leather may not be that much so we always look at that if it is not producing leather so it is not a good leather so sometime that we say that is the, the hair is not becoming very soft at what cost soft at at your cost of your health cost of the health of so many uh, life systems around us highly cancerous materials that we are using so still we use oh, oh, for that reason so that kind of face wash simple and of course the bath and body wash little bit tr tricky so we are all used to solid soaps and of course here you may have to use the scrubbers the natural scrubbers that we may have to uh, look at all these natural scrubbers and uh, you uh, use the body wash otherwise it is difficult to apply that practical problem is still there but there are so many particularly for children babies and they are all using this bath and body wash very mild mild soaps and 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 very efficient um for for uh, cleaning your body uh, and this kind of things of course and of course going further people have asked us so you have developed all these product why not some of the grass cleaners tap cleaners and of course the uh, the stain remover so sometimes suddenly that some tea or maybe other type of stain will be there on your clothes so apply uh, on that particular spot and look at it some of the of course the, uh, depending upon the requirement uh, maybe concentration may be little higher smaller uh, lower or maybe of uh, some other uh, ingredients natural origin materials that we would have added there may be costlier sometimes but purpose is very and very very efficient and people have started uh, using it and appreciated lots and all these things and uh, this this 10 years or of course this will extend the uh, sustainable development goals designed by the uh, united nations across the um globe the water is very very important uh, uh maybe component around us and we all have to look at it and how can we start looking at start contributing for this uh the sustainable development goals around us and of course the social impact one side is the health of the uh the uh the life in water bodies life in soil employment opportunities mostly for less privileged tribals villages and and nothing new nothing new this this is just just a, a product development based on the traditional knowledge so many of us were using probably uh, the soap net and shikaka only thing is that we are not having that much of patience to do this and you cannot store it for long time so if you if you uh, uh, crush it a soap net and shikakai and start using it fine no problem but otherwise think of this kind of products they both eco swatch and eco satwa whether it is a household or personal care product highly highly efficient uh, products there i am i am i am stopping there but these products are available uh, in many many of these uh, organic stores and of course online offline stores so much of information available uh, online offline to read and of course the uh, the uh, the website and other things are available and uh, stopping there but but request all of you to start using and at the same time understand this concept and help us to spread the concept thank you so much Thank you so much, Dr. Hegde. That was, uh, uh, you know, so much of information and eye opener session, because on a daily basis, how much of chemical we are consuming, and the ripple effect of it, and we just focus on. I do get so many cases of thyroid uh, challenges, 
So people just focus just that, oh, get my thyroid levels okay, and uh, I take this medicine. But what about all the things? What is the root cause? Thank you so much. It was so much of information. Now today, I think after the session and after uh, Dr. Hegde's uh, detailed information, all of you should go, go and uh, every corner of your house, every room check all the products you're using and the labels and if they contain all these chemicals it's time to relook and think that oh what are my natural options and how do i change this for the benefit of my health and everybody's health thank you dr hegde and uh, it was a fantastic uh, information in the session thank you so much if anybody is having doubt you can ask your question yeah, if anybody has any doubts you can raise your hands and uh, and after that, we will uh, uh, start the uh, acute sound healing session. Any questions? If you have, you have to raise your hands. Yeah, Basara sir. Unmute Madi sir. Basara sir. Please unmute. Hello. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. I'll uh, I'll uh, continue the session. Yeah, you can write mail also if you have any doubt. Yeah, please, please share your mail ID in the chat box and uh, yeah. and also all the information is available on our uh, website www.brixpio.com. Thank yeah. you, all participants. Thank you, Rupa, ma'am. Okay. Madam, uh, can I stop sharing? Yes, please, please stop sharing. Okay, okay. Thank you. I'll be there. Okay. I think somebody has mute. Mute mark. Yeah. Hope the information will be useful. And uh, instead of just looking at, you know, so many cases I get with thyroid and all this, so just reflect on this whole session, which uh, so much of information we just now heard that what is the root cause what am i doing for my health yeah good thanks thank you so much once again uh, to all of you to join and huge gratitude to join on a sunday afternoon you could be doing something else but you chose to attend our uh, master class and the webinar thank you so much um, rupa banur here some of you know know me already and uh, this is a, a joint session with uh, dr hegde uh, dr ravi shankabhat and me we thought uh, because it all boils down to health and wellness, isn't it? Everything we, we are doing, something we are doing, which is affecting our health. Agree with me? Whether it is your toothpaste, toothpaste contains a lot of chemicals. The jag, what we are saying, the froth, what, what we see, jag in our toothpaste. So pay attention after the session, all of you, this is the homework for all of you. Must, must check the ingredients and get into this habit of checking every sing single ingredient about every product you're using. You saw the little baby, how the rashes on the skin and what we do when we get these kind of rashes, extreme eczema, we quickly rush to the dermatologist and then and more creams, more lotions are prescribed, which contains steroids and then more chemicals, more and more. So we are going in this chakra of chemicals. Instead of that, how about look back, sit back, reflect and say, what is the root cause? What am I applying to the baby? What are the chemicals around around us, around the house, around the system, which is affecting? Okay, thank you. And uh, now let's let's see what is uh, acute sound healing. It's a great preventive and curative solution. And uh, friends, this is my journey. Many years ago, I had some health challenges, and I was on med medication. I was looking for some natural ways to heal myself. That is when I came across. 
uh, acute touch healing and uh, sound healing. And these modalities are without any medicine, no injections, no needles, nothing. All my students come online to learn and heal themselves. It's a great preventive and curative solution. Before that, quickly, I would like to introduce myself. I'm an IT professional engineer turned wellness coach, my acute touch therapist from Bhakti University and internationally certified sound healer. I'm an author of the book, Three Secrets to Reverse Diabetes by he, uh, eating your favorite food. Now, what is healing? Let's see what is healing and how we all have experienced this in, in our lifetime. Some, sometime or the other, as a kid, you would have fallen or you must be walking in the kitchen and you get a small cut. You don't do anything. All you have to do is just wash, keep it clean and it heals automatically. Amazing, amazing intelligent doctor, internal doctor we have. So every, it knows exactly to heal here and not a single scar most of the time. And the strong bone also, it just keep it tight and it heals. So this is the power of self-healing, power we have, but the thing is we don't keep quiet. Every little thing, it has become the mindset today is every little thing, some medicine, some medicine, some medicine we are taking and some third party, some blame it on some third party and uh, look for some, some other solution, some medicine, some chemical which is made again in the lab is going to cure me, heal me. Today, in your own circle, you'll find that morning, afternoon, night, there is somebody who is taking on a regular medicine. BP ki dawai, diabetes ki dawai, thyroid ki dawai, ki nane ki dawai. So this has become so common. And I say we have become generations of medicine. I think our great grandparents uh, were all, you know, everything was natural, uh, soap nut, shikakai, and more, most of the, everything in the house was natural. Nothing much in packed and processed and uh, the health was good and today if you see majority things are in pack, packed and processed and the amount of chemicals we are using around us which is causing health issues you will find somebody in your own circle who is on regular medication and this mindset has to change and from uh, what i label it as generation of medicine let's all have this challenge challenge ourselves and have this mindset change the mindset that let's become a healthy society and it is health doesn't come from just one thing, right? 360 degrees you have to see. What is that root cause? Look at this picture, pills and surgery, pills and surgery, and the lifestyle change, there's nobody. So let's change that. Let's have a long, long queue in the lifestyle change and use pills and surgery only for emergency. A person who takes medicine recovered twice, once from the disease and one from the medicine. Agree with me? Chota mota hua to fir we take some medicine and then some antibiotics and because of antibiotic then antacid, because of antacid then gut bacteria is all damaged so then one some gut bacteria is probiotic and then some some constipation ki dawai. So all one after the other, one after the other, we have become, you know, the thing is ki some medicine is going to cure. Acidity hai chalo some medicine, this some other medicine. So go natural, don't take medicine, heal yourself naturally. 80 million diabetic in India, and it's expected to grow 135 million by 2045, 42 million thyroid, and all these PCODs, PCOS, infertility is growing. So many people, ladies especially are suffering from infertility. Obesity and uh, overweight has become so common and the list is so, so big. So there's something wrong, something what we're eating, drinking, the chemical we are using around us and something we are inhaling, all the perfumes and the duos we are inhaling together, it's causing so much of toxins we are accumulating. Morning till night, we wake up, we brush, some chemical is entering our system. So like that, some other other chemical is causing this is one of the reasons for so many health issues and so many cancer patients these days. What is that wrong? Something wrong in our system, right? Something what we're doing with the lifestyle, with the food and with the chemicals surrounding us. This has to change. Now, acute sound healing, uh, there are two parts, acute healing and sound healing. I'm sure uh, all of you are curious to know what is it. 
and acute healing is similar to acupressure but not acupressure it is acute touch healing and uh, it is uh, not a, a youtube channel where you google uh, give me some points for diabetes and i want to press these random points and cure no these are uh, very scientific it's a 8000 year old life science who recognized and uh, let's see how we can cure and heal ourselves i would like to give a short demo on this ready there are filaments panchabhuta hote hai hamare sharir mein filaments in a system water wood fire earth and air water wood fire earth and air in a super healthy person all these are balanced in an unhealthy person there is a energy imbalance everything is energy everything is energy so let's let's uh, uh, follow me and uh, let's do a short demo of how you can learn online how you can heal yourself by learning this and become your own doctor that's what happens in my academy it's acute healing hub academy where my students join me across the globe and i'm on a mission to spread the awareness that don't take medicine and heal yourself nat naturally because all the medicines are not curing they only suppress and suppress and suppress the symptoms address the root cause of any issues root cause okay ready everyone so this is uh, my right hand and this is my left hand this is my right hand and this is my left hand i'm a right handy so if you are a left handy use the other hand use the tip of your index finger use the tip of your index finger and not any other fingers, not any other fingers. This is the point. This is the treatment point or the healing point. Can you see here? This is the treatment point or the healing point. So use the tip of your index finger, place it on the point here. Place it on the point, gentle touch, and it is mind body healing. It's all about focusing and healing yourself. So just gentle touch. Place it on the point and focus for one minute. Get focus on the point for one minute. Ready, everyone? Ready? Ready? Okay. Index finger. Index. Use the tip of the index finger. This is the point. This is the corner of the nail joint of my thumb. Corner of the nail joint of my thumb. Just place it on the point. Close your eyes. Smile on your face. Jitni white smile karenge, apna jaldi thik ho jayenge. Ready? Hold for one minute. Visualize every cell is healed. Every organ is healed. You're becoming super healthy, super strong. Focus on the point approximately for one minute. good like that there are so many points on a system and balancing by pressing these points but just gentle touch you don't have to press very hard we balance the energy so if there is any imbalance in water or wood or fire or earth or air it will slowly week by week it will start balancing how simple and how effective it is you could be anywhere in the world you could be in the flight you could be in the lounge uh, waiting in the lounge or in the car in the bus in the park the, at home or in the office you can heal yourself how uh, simple and easy and very powerful and very effective the next i'm going to give a short demo about are you all curious to know what is sound healing how many of you heard about sound healing how many of you heard about sound healing and experienced it type me in the chat box if you if you are first time if you haven't heard about sound healing sound healing suna hai apne experience kiya hai okay 
these are big singing therapeutic balls bowls they are made of copper and tin copper and tin and uh, the science is 70 percent of our body is water so with the high frequency singing bowl what happens is the water molecules vibrate they generate energy and if there is any blockages in our system it clears amazing amazing science without any medicine koi dawai nahi hai hai na next similarly our mind has frequency frequency of anger fear grief guilt shame they vibrate at a very low frequency anyway gussa hai to koi saath paas mein bhi nahi aata hai na vibration is already so low frequency of love joy acceptance courage they vibrate at a very high frequency with the high frequency singing bowls your mind's frequency will also uplift and the healing happens it's a mind body healing are you all ready for a demo ready for a demo so you have to remove watch and belt mangal sutra and earring is okay have some water and keep your mobile in silent mode and not in vibrate mode because it will disrupt the healing process have some water join hands close your eyes invoke your favorite god seek the blessings of your favorite god to heal every cell every organ of your body to make you super healthy super strong breathe in breathe out breathe in positivity breathe out negativity breathe in positivity without negativity
the energy feel the vibrations just relax Slowly rub your palm, place it on the eyes, roll it on your face, roll it on your hands, slowly bit by bit open your eyes, slowly bit by bit open your eyes. How was sound healing? How was sound healing? Anybody there? <laughs> Mere class mein snoring competition zarur hota hai. <laughs> sound healing ke baad snoring competition. <laughs> Superb. How was sound healing? Great feelings. Good. Thank you for sharing. So friends go natural and um, this is also my family's journey. Few years back, I lost my dad and my little brother. And uh, it, it was just three months within a gap of three months. I, this was uh, this happened in 2001. And uh, I really it was devastating. I promised myself that no family should suffer like this. 
I started learning, researching, and so many, I did so many courses. I found the best of the best gurus and the mentors in my life. And today I'm here to share my knowledge. And uh, what I'm trying to say is stay healthy, stay happy. Health is wealth, isn't it? If you are healthy, we can do so many things otherwise. No fun in spending, look at this picture. But it's hospital bed, absolutely. So take care and uh, stay healthy. Invest in health, invest in your health. I'm on a mission to help 100,000 over women to live a pill-free healthy lifestyle using AccuSound Healing. This is the online academy and uh, where you come, you learn, you heal yourself and become your own doctor. That's me and uh, very soon I'm going to be 52 and I just came back from high altitude, mountain trek, 11,000 feet, snow, minus 12, minus 15 degrees and I'm mountain fit today. So if you want to be mountain fit like me, do join my community. And all, thanks to all the universe and all my gurus and mentors and uh, because of them, I have the knowledge and I'm here to share with everybody around the world. A mission is that each and everyone should be healthy and happy. Yeah. Now I am going to share uh, some of the links. One is uh, you have to register here for my next free masterclass. So any questions you have to raise hands and uh, then I will allow you to unmute and join my Facebook group and Insta handle and YouTube channels for useful informations. Any questions, please raise hand. Oh, so many of, okay. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, Saroj. Hi, Saroj. Can you unmute yourself? Please go ahead. Hi, yes. Um, ma'am, मुझे पूछना है कि इसका recording है क्या? जैसे आपने sound healing दिया है, तो वो healing uh, sound का recording है आपके पास? आप दे सकते हैं हमें? Recording छोटा सा glimpse मिलेगा आपको, वो मेरे YouTube channel में है already. अच्छा, okay, thank you, ma'am. Okay, now hi, uh, Amrit. You have to unmute yourself. Hi. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, is it possible to have an online session every day where we can heal ourselves if it is a paid session? Yeah, paid session, there are various uh, 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 steps we have to go through. And uh, please attend my next webinar on Wednesday. I'll share the details about that. How the healing okay. happens, how one come to my community and learn and heal themselves. My mission is to that become your own doctor. We have learned physics, chemistry, maths, biology, this, 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 so many things. What is that tool? What is that science? What is that course we have done to learn to heal ourselves? What is that knowledge we have today? We don't. Why is that so many people are having thyroid, diabetes, skin problems, so many things? And get the root cause. What one comes when uh, somebody comes to my paid community, you will understand what is the root cause of anything and address it and learn how to heal yourself. That's my online community www.acuhealinghub.com is my community. And uh, yes, it's possible where you learn and you heal yourself. Right? Is there any place in Bombay where we can come over there and do it? Mine is a virtual clinic. That's a traditional way where you book an appointment, you go, you meet the doctor, get some prescription, do some blood test, scan and stand in the queue and you have a big report and then you think, oh, we did something for our health. No, the answer is no. Mine is a virtual clinic. My students come across the globe. They join my community. It's a community here where we learn and we heal ourselves. Yeah, but the problem is that we do not have these kind of uh, metal things at home. So how can we help ourselves? My students come and uh, there is a hybrid. Uh, this is uh, uh, recorded sessions you'll get and live sessions. So every okay. session, I'll be playing okay. and it's an experience. It's an every session. It's a different experience. And that's how you get healed. Okay. And uh, you will at the next session, you will give us all the details. 
Yeah, the son of Wednesday. And secondly, uh, approximately how long does it take to heal diabetes with this? Yeah, it, it depends on person to person and from the age and from how long you're taking medicine, it varies from various factors are there and how religiously somebody is following all the rules and the regulations and the uh, acute, acute touch healing ke kuch philosophy follow karna hai. So for example, one of my student, the best student, uh, he's just 34 years old and he got diabetic. Yeah, uh, his reports were sugar levels were high and within two months he has lost six kilos weight and his uh, medication from 500 mcg is now is 250 and uh, reducing further so okay. it vary from person to person and okay. if extremes arises of the skin or uh, long-term depression uh, anxiety medi medication then it takes much longer yeah so you have online courses which we can pay and join yeah okay fine yeah. thank you so much thank you all the best Yes. Saroj, uh, you have to uh, lower your hand and yeah, Dr. Tushar, please unmute yourself. Hello, Dr. Tushar, are you there? <coughs> And it's a very simple program. My oldest student is 69 years old. If you know WhatsApp, if you know how to operate your mobile and you can learn, it's no rocket science. And I have modeled it such that anybody can learn anywhere and practice it also. A lot of my students, they say we are traveling, we are there still, you can do it. And the goal should be there that yes, I want to heal myself without medicine. And this is the right platform. If you think one chutki may, you know, ek chutki may, ek, uh, one medicine and then tuck, I want to get better and heal, then it's a wrong, blunt, a wrong webinar and a wrong platform. Healing is a process, right? Healing is a process. Uh, right from cellular level, pe pe heating hoti hai. Itne sare toxins accumulate kar chuke hai, uh, as Dr. Hegde mentioned, so many things from so many years and uh, also all the other stuff as well a lot of toxins in the mind so all those layer by layer toxins ki detox hote i think dr tushar is not there so i'm just going to disable him anybody else any questions i'm happy to answer so these are the links and this is uh, the group you have to join and if you have uh, so typically on a wednesday uh, at uh, 7 pm and uh, saturday at 11 am i conduct two webinars unless I'm traveling or busy. So this is an online community, online coaching and training, which happens here. And you learn how to heal yourself. And that's my website. If you have any questions, you have to WhatsApp me and uh, we can ask as well. That's my WhatsApp number. No questions? Okay, Dakshani has a question, right? Hi, Dakshani. Good afternoon. Hello? Unmute, Madi Dakshani. Uh, Amri, Amri, Amrita, I don't know, understand your question. Oh, okay. The point is here, the point is here, and just touch for oh. Approximately one minute. Yeah, Dakshani, go ahead. Heli? Madam, I have a husband who has healing, and he has a healing, and he has a healing, and he has a healing. So, you, you, when you learn, you can also heal. That's a very good question she's asking. She wants to heal her husband. So, you learn, and then you can heal your family members as well. Which, the Yavaga, madam, of course. Adu nam the paid community ali barbe kuni wo ban mele adu kal kora sigatte and some have approached me saying that they want to uh, take it up as a service and as a career and become healer adu that's a gold membership adrali detail limge theory practical case study diagnosis heal hack madu danta help korte be okay madam thank you um, all the best. I'm just asking, Dr. Tushar, are you there? 
any questions you raised your hand so i'm assuming you have a question please unmute yourself okay i think he's not there good yeah now thank you so much everyone thank you so much uh, dr he dr hegde for uh, joining us today and uh, giving such uh, useful information and i'm sure thank you so much madam for the opportunity welcome sir and i'm sure all of us uh, have got some we we knew it but then we be uh, so much of information that we will sit back and say ah what is that chemical i'm eating i'm inhaling i'm applying on my skin the expensive uh, cream which i got it from a, from a duty free shop how harmful it is let this thought process start and let's save our health our environment uh, environment health let's go green and the generations next generations health as well okay we i think vipa has a question i am going to allow you to talk hi vipa you have to unmute yourself hi vipa are you there yes yeah go ahead ma'am i want i want to ask you when will you start your webinar paid webinar uh, anybody can join any time the paid community anyone can join any time and be part of the community and start learning and healing okay ma'am okay all the best good thanks once again to each one of you, everybody on a sunday i'm so happy to see so many and this shows me that you all want to have good health right health is wealth so stay healthy stay happy and see you soon and those are the details uh, of uh, Dr. Hegdeji and me. And if you want to get in touch, happy to have, connect and answer. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Take good care.